I am absolutely the worst at live streaming. I have no idea if people are coming in yet, but let's see here. All chat, live chat. Hello, how are you doing? Not sure you signed up. Sorry for the inevitable problems with live streaming that have happened. The first live stream, I don't know what the hell that was. Apparently YouTube wanted to showcase my desktop or my mobile top, whatever the fuck you call that. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to say about that other than that's all sorts of wrong. So we are starting a new one here <laughs> and like I also dropped and broke my little holder thing for my camera, so it's just like that kind of sometimes. If you guys, if one of you wouldn't mind posting in uh, the Discord, that'd be really cool. A link to this, and uh, that way more people can find it because there might be some people that were like, "Hey, what's going on there?" Um, so yeah, today we're gonna check out what I've done. I'm gonna start racking. Gonna level things out. Gonna start putting servers onto racks and yeah so i guess i'll just turn the camera around here and kind of show you where we're at so far so i did get all the plugs set tested working i've got the front in here for these and they kind of go in like that but i need to cut on the back side the pass through up here so that i can have the rest of them come on through on the back side and that's going to be really cool because then I can have a TV because I actually framed in a two by six here so I can put my TV mount here and then have an arm swing out and I can have like a Grafana display on everything. And I got one there and I've also got one over here so I can actually have two TVs uh, with displays of what's going on on the system. And so I, what, Jesus Christ, did you really just send me that much money? Holy fucking shit, dude. Uh, yeah, so, uh, excuse me cussing also. Uh, thank you very much, Bazinga. Like, that is insane. Uh, by the way, I appreciate that a lot. Uh, don't anybody feel like you ever have to do that? But I definitely appreciate that. So, uh, you can see I did a fairly decent job on the trim. But the real thing is this, man. I did actually pretty decent. For somebody who's done nothing but a bunch of electrical work, I feel like I did actually pretty damn good. So, we got a flat finish on the walls. So I think that's pretty professional looking. I don't know if you can see that, but like I was very impressed with the job I did. I got to do like some caulking here, but I just got these in place so that I could actually get the racks in. We're going to get the three racks in. And yeah, so as soon as we get these in, we'll start setting this one full. The actual big ass J bods. I am going to try to set one tonight, but I have a bad feeling that the the rails I'm planning on using may not work. So, yeah, this is one of them. You can see this APC rail set here. I'm actually really hoping that the APC rail sets will work, but if you see the front supports on these only go a little bit to mid rack. And while it might be okay for this one, and not really, to be honest with you, because I don't like it light resting on the PDU, it, it, as you go up, I think it's gonna have a tendency to wanna camp backwards. We're gonna find out. Uh, squeezing them between here is going to also be something that'll be pretty interesting. But yeah, I uh, got a little bit of a paint job. Still got to put the door in here, but I got the door. Cut these holes so I can have monitor feeds running out of it. I'm going to get all these R920s and R930s hooked up here and going. And yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to bring my wife out here to run the camera. And that way you guys can watch me as I toil and labor away. Hello, honey. All right, are you good? I'm sorry I broke that thing earlier. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to, where's the laser level at? I really do need the laser level. And I'll check every now and then here in the live stream and see if I see any questions or anything pop up. I'll try to pop over here. This is a bit like crazy at the moment to try to find something. I'm looking forward very much to it being much less stuff. Found it. Uh, I'm gonna need the 
tripod for that also. Okay, and chat, can I get the chat window all up there at the same time? Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, let's check this out. Uh, all right, so, I think I'm actually gonna have to go and get the tripod to mount this on before we do anything else. So, I don't know if you guys want, you just pan around the servers and stuff for them. Got the laser level here so we can make sure that when we're leveling these they're all as best as we can. Now the cool thing is I had these whips with extra length on them so they were able to adjust without any problems really. Oh yeah I gotta move that one first. And so, how are you guys doing? What do you got for weekend plans coming up here? Anything big? And we're like watching this for the first time together. Like, I have not put these in here, roughed in even. So, this is the first. Oh, God, yes, yes. Yes. Look at that. Look at that clearance. Oh yeah, you did good. Gotta get that a little bit more like that. And if I remember, I have two inches of clearance on this side and that side. So that should just be like perfect. Let me grab this rail rack right here. down and out they're always kind of graded that way so you can see here like this gap that we've got here versus at the bottom there's none so the levelers are gonna have to be really adjusted a lot all the way from this side to this side that's why I brought the laser level out because I'm gonna bathe them together I've got the uh, bang kit stuff here so I've got all the hardware for bang and as I bathe them together, I'll be sure that, you know, I get it as level as possible so that it's not like shaking or anything like that. Let's get that third one in.
can just sneak all the way back through that. That's really cool. I'm going to have to actually reposition this one further that way. There's like almost no extra room actually. That's, that's a little bit bad on me. I, I actually thought I was going to leave two inches on each side, but something hasn't worked out quite like that. <laughs> off and maybe you can see a little bit better the like laser edge here. So I should be able to just get everything kind of right up to the front. And I guess I'm gonna actually need to start I need to make sure that this side's lowered all the way, which it's definitely lowered all the way. Yeah. And then I'll just go ahead and start picking up this edge, and then I'm just going to have to raise both edges to get it up level on this one. This is looking like a lot of drop. That is three quarters of an inch. That is an inch and a half. I don't even know if this is going to be down here. This is almost two inches. Ooh. I wonder if these levelers are going to be able to actually make that happen. That is a lot. Okay? We're gonna find that together here. to keep the laser line just right as close as possible on the edge here so that it can keep shining past everything else. If anybody also sees me making any mistakes that they know are mistakes because they work in a data center, stop me. Stop me like right away. Comment. Comment. If you see any of those comments come in, let me tell me for sure also.
Yeah, so this one's tilted back, so I gotta kick it up from the back side also. So. I cannot believe that it's taken me a month to do this. I'm very disappointed in myself. I thought I was going to be done much sooner than this. A month was not something I thought was going to happen. But here we are. Let's see here. So you can see like, we're right there. And then we're like all the way here. So that's probably a quarter of an inch that that side needs to get raised up before I even begin adjusting this one. And my wife signaled me that I got a comment. So hopefully this is somebody that has some insight. This fan has headshot. The whole rack first, then secure second rack to first rack. Adjust feet on second rack until they touch the floor. Check the level again. Do the same for the third rack. Yeah, that's I think what we're going to do here. That sounds like pretty much my plans. And I just am a little bit wondering whether we're going to have enough on the third one. Uh, do you think it would be okay to put like maybe a little piece of wood? I don't know. Like I'm worried that it's not going to be able to raise up enough because I'm calculating that it's at least almost an inch and a half difference. It seems like a lot for the levelers to make up. We'll see. Uh, I guess there's only one way to do it. Thank you for the comments, Faz. I love the confirmation that I'm on the right track. And it's been a while since I saw you. Welcome back. <laughs> I hope things are going good for you, man. I hope things are going good for everybody and they're having themselves a good weekend on deck. closer to being level here and actually checking against that edge might not be the right thing. Let me check against like the inner Yeah. These racks are just not the best racks. I really should have gotten the APC net shelters. That would have been a lot better. But could not come to an agreement. Okay, so that's actually pretty close here. So just a little bit more on that side to get it up, and then we'll check the level on the front. Dude, this is going to be sick. 
They're going to be absolutely sick. Okay. That looks good. Let's check it for... Let's sit down here. Actually, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call that good enough for that, and then uh, I'm gonna adjust the second one up here. I just want to make sure that I've got these at least having contact. It's actually worked out like surprisingly better than I thought it was going to. That's uh, going to be easier than I thought, maybe. Uh, let's take it off. And at least these rails or racks are pretty light. Got to be kicked forward. I guess I can spread it. Remove everything to have concrete report in the hole. You know, if you want to do it right, right? Uh, do you have any metal bar to scrape? I would trust. I would not trust to compress over time. Compress? What do you mean compress? I don't understand what compression is. Um, too late now, but you really needed to a false floor. Oh, a false floor to put everything on. Like honestly, pouring more concrete is something that it would have taken a lot of time. Uh, wood is wood. Looking good, man. I'm impressed. PPO, what up? Garages are usually slightly slow. Yeah. All right. By the way, if anybody's in Austin and they want to show up and help, I would love it. <laughs> Actually, she has got an employee here, the guy that does the deployments for uh, their code. I guess he's a DevOps engineer. He lives here. Uh, he's got like a really high-end thermal scanning gun, and I need to get him over here so after I get like the garage doors like insulated. I'm going to cut these things in half. These little pipe things, they're already kind of cut in half, but I'm going to cut the other half of it. And then I'm going to like find a way to stick it on the top of the garage door so it creates a seal. I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm going to try it. We'll see if it works.
Oh, the metal shims. Yeah. I think I have metal. I have steel plate. Yeah, I've got steel plate. That's a great idea. I, I think I gotta go and get some steel plate. Uh, whoa, dude. Like, thank you very, very much. Uh, I'm glad that my insanity is paying off. By the way, I've had really horrible quad also. Uh, but thank you. You helped me with my farm. I am forever grateful. I remember early on you were talking about a bunch of stuff, and did you end up getting blade bit disc is my question. Because I think you were all blade bit RAM. So one of the questions I've been asking myself is, if you have blade bit RAM, do you have any incentive to use blade bit disc? I just don't know. I mean, I find myself thinking about it, and I'm like, why would I even participate in the beta at this point, other than just kind of curiosity? Maybe it's more efficient plot per watt is what I am thinking, and it just doesn't seem like it would be though, because you have disk activity versus RAM activity. Feels like blade bit RAM will always be more power efficient. I don't know, maybe. Uh, this content is awesome. Where else could you watch this while chilling on a weekend? Uh, yeah, it, dude, this is just like the beginning. This is gonna get like pretty crazy sick. Metal shims, you mean like hard drives? <laughs> Oh man, this is so good. 36.4 Nearline SAS. Oh my God, it's so old, dude. This thing is so old. I've got so many of these old ass hard drives. This is all junk ass hard drives here. And I was planning on every now and then whenever I'm mad, just going and taking the sledgehammer and I've got a giant stump at the back that I cut down a tree and just like putting one on and just like doing slow motion of me like hitting the hard drives and just like shattering them. Seems like a good way to take out there. Uh, on the HDDs, <laughs> I've already been plotted. 36 gigabytes. I am spanning a RAID 0 to get the plots onto the <laughs> hard drive shims. I gotta say, hard drive shims would be pretty cool. And Gary Ryan, Blade Bit Ram is the fastest. It's basically one bucket plotting. You know, I really, I, I just, I love Blade Bit, you know, Ram. That is like the pinnacle plotter right now. I don't know of anything else that could actually beat it. Mad Max, you can actually get two going at the same time and come pretty darn close. But one of the questions I always ask myself is, if you really had a huge-ass RAID 0 that had really great IOPS, and you were able to max out a PCI E4 kind of generation, you know, in B and of, like, array, could you use the OG plotter? Like, I, I want to test that, but I'm also, I hate that OG plotter, and I don't want to destroy anything for no reason. But I've been looking at the IO drives, and the IO drives are pretty sweet. Like, seriously, I wish I would have gotten those instead of the pile of Samsung one terabyte drives. Uh, but yeah, they were pretty expensive, but now they're actually really cheap, so I think I'm gonna get a couple of those. All right, all right, enough chat. Let me get back to work here. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta get that, that corner up a lot. take you guys outside and we're gonna grab some some metal shims can you pop a battery in this from that thing from the gun here pop that battery in that is a hundred percent backwards that's not how the battery goes in there we go <laughs> thank you All right, let's go get some metal shims. I don't know if y'all know, but I like welding, so I have some plate steel at most times, just kind of hanging around. So, let's adventure out here a little bit. Oh, it's not even like really dark yet. Only in Texas. Like, it's been a while. Let's go. 
good one. There's four metal plates. All right. Definitely hearing thunder going. Sometime we need to do a Chia meetup. Make a bunch of hamburgers for people on the Blackstone. Gap there. No, I have no gap there. I got no gap there. And I am down to two brute force to make this work. I think I can get it. Kind of? It's that kind of? Definitely on this edge. It's going to have to be picked up a bit more. Ooh, that wasn't what I was hoping for. Three quarter inch trim boards. Yeah, you know, actually, that's probably what did happen. And all I can say is, uh, shit. Well, you know, they're just there for the the sod on the front, so it's going to be incredibly scuffed up now. Whatever. I really don't care. It's hidden. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to lift that up, though. All right. So I think these two together on the front, and then these are kind of big, fat pieces also. Well, maybe just one. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. side
Brent. Brent. <laughs> I keep calling you Brent. Brent, good job on the metal shims idea. Bazinga, thank you for stopping me and telling me what he meant. I was thinking of wood shims and I was like, I was gonna go that route. That wouldn't have been good. All right, that one actually makes contact very decent. It's got a raise, oh shoot. Yeah, it's got it, it's got it. I think it'll happen. see that there's a pretty good amount. There's probably a three quarters of an inch left on the thread on the top here, so I think I'll be okay. Getting there. I'm gonna do some on the back though because it, it's kicked way, way far back. I don't know if you can see how far back it's kicked, but that's a ways back. So definitely have scraped the hell out of that. Uh, yeah, that's right. Hey, would you tell me whenever that gets kind of kicked forward more up there to where it's kind of flush up there with the other one?
See where we're at. Oh, hey, that ain't bad. We got a little bit more to go, but not that much. And actually, it will have clearance. That looks like whenever they're baited together. So definitely did not have two inches of extra. So I definitely screwed up on that. You know, the irony is I had a hell of a time forming this corner. And I could have just like not formed this corner at all and just taken the trim right to it, it seems like. God, that would have saved me a ton of time. These corners were absolutely horrible because I suck at sheet rock. Sorry, it's real dark, I'm sure, for y'all. Holy cow. This is super lucky. great alignment. Every U is like notched perfect here. So like 38, 38, 38, 38. Like that is freakishly good. I can't believe that it came out that good. That's really, really lucky. Uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So I'm ready to go ahead and start banging them together now. There you go.
said the bang is essentially just like when you slide it on here. This is like not the official bang kit either. Like there's an official bang kit, but this is like the good enough bang kit. Cosmetic still me. I can't read from the bottom up. I gotta start from the top down here. There's been a lot of comments. Holy cow. EPO, I know you love Blade Bit Ram. EPO, that was like my foray, my first move got me into like Blade Bit Ram. Thank you for that. All I can say is that 1.6 is working like a charm. You've had a hell of a lot of success with 1.6. I know you were having a hard time with some of your harvesters before that. Rick, before it, just pop in to say hi, I hope you're having a good and productive night. Dude, this is going to be like one of the best nights that I have put together in a while. This is insanely cool. I am having so much fun. Uh, and we, when we hear scared, scary music and nobody can find DSP, da -da 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 -da. just me or others having issue with the video spooling. Is, are people having issues with the video spooling? Let me know if you are. And, uh, I don't know what I can do about it. I guess we could switch to 4G, but I don't know if that would make the quality better. That three quarter inch trim board is, yeah, it's, it's, it's foobar, it's gone. Should we all tell him he has the racks in backwards? Cosmetics don't make XCH. Cosmetics do not make XCH. Leveling feet max out. The leveling feet have, they're, look, they're still not countersunk into there, so they are not maxed out. They are like level with the like screw. So I feel actually secure and good about where they're at, which is like amazing. And if I didn't have those two metal shims, then definitely I think I would have some problems. Uh, but luckily I just had sheet metal laying around, so that worked out. Plate steel. Uh, da, 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 da. Hi, I'm from Brazil. Howdy, Brazilian. And uh, I'm growing chia. I really like your channel. You're growing chia. I love that. I am interested in people growing chia and farming chia. It's like a real legit one. Sheetrock she, she job looks nice. I, I've never had a sheetrock job come out good. This is actually the first time. And I talked to somebody who actually is a channel member, and they were like, just keep doing it. Just keep sanding and doing it over and sanding it until it looks good. And yeah. It's a crazy amount of sanding that I did, but yeah. It really did just come down to do it and sand it and do it and sand it. The ASMR. I am gonna have so many blinking light videos as a result of this. There's gonna be like non-stop blinking light shorts. So I hope you guys enjoy this. 
new HDDs, K32 or K33? Uh, Bazinga, definitely K33 on those new HDDs. I would not replot anything, but K33, K34, a mixture of those. Uh, Lithium Solar has a calculator that he has that counts uh, the DF blocks and tells you the right ratio for the space on there. So I don't know, I had asked him if he was going to uh, put a GitHub up or anything with it, but uh, he may have yet, he may not have yet, I don't know. But check in the, um, check in the Discord, because he might have posted that, I don't know. Um, definitely K33, K34 mixture though, moving forward. Is in which should I plot? Yeah, yeah. I have 2,000 plots and start, K32. You know, I mean, the thing is K32 probably isn't going anywhere, and like, the reality is, I love Bladebit RAM, and that makes it hard because Bladebit RAM does not do K33 or K34. Like, it might in the near term, kind of future with Bladebit Disk, be able to produce K33, K34, um, but it doesn't currently. So, really, you're with Mad Max plotter if you want to do anything. So, you know, I, I, I don't think that it's as fast as Bladebit RAM, but I think it's definitely on par or pretty close with what the results are looking like for blade bit disc. There's a ton of stuff that's still, I mean, it's beta, but there's been a ton of problems. I actually tried to roll a video with the 5950X and it was just like an utter failure. Like, I don't know what was happening, but blade bit disc was just not having it at all. Uh, blocked on the fifth and the sixth. Oh, man. Everybody in their block lock. Mm, I need that block lock. Really lucky with the alignment. Will there be RGB strips along the trim? So, like, up here is probably going to be, like, a neon sign or an LED sign. I haven't decided, but probably neon so I can program it. It'll say digital spaceport up there. And on the sides here, there's more than likely going to be a row of LED. I don't think I'm going to do it around each individual one. That's too much. But, like, one row of LEDs would be really cool. And behind the pegboard, the pegboard is getting painted a darker color than this. And after we, you know, take this off, put on, you know, new top here, but replace the pegboard after it's painted. The inside bays of those, we're gonna put LEDs that are like color change. So like maybe the Philip Hue. One of the people in the Discord told me that I gotta be careful because they have a flicker rate that can mess with cameras. So I need to ask him which brand, because he told me and I forgot. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have some LEDs there also, so there'll be some cool light effects for sure. Can we get a look from the other side? Sure, come on, let's take a look from the other side. This is actually going to be where the washer dryer goes. So that's kind of after all of this happens, but eventually the washer dryer will be here. And this is the view from the other side. And so I've got the ladder up there and the little ladder pass through for the network. And so I'm gonna, cut all of these and then bend this and have it come straight. And I've got another extension of this ladder that's hanging up there. And I'll be able to run that down right onto here. And don't fall. And this is where all the networking is gonna be up top here. And then I got the single, this is not ideal. Like, so I can support six PDUs here. Like these, each one have three outlets. Uh, so I can support six PDUs here. And I, these racks just don't have enough space. And like you can see up here, I had to like sheet metal pre-drill and get those like put into place. That took a really stinking long time because drilling through this type of metal is very difficult. I mean, luckily I got the bits to do it. But there's no nice zero U PDU trays on the Dell 4220 line. So I, I was struggling really bad and I really wish I would have gotten the uh, NetApp APC SX 3350s that were on Craigslist, but that guy was not gonna come down on price and like, I didn't wanna spend $1,400 on racks, but looking back, I should have spent the $1,400 on racks. I mean, he wanted more than I thought they were probably gonna be a good deal for. Uh, so yeah, but, this is the back. This is plenty of clearance after I get all this stuff cleared out. So all of this stuff is either going to the dump or something. 
And then back in here, this door is going to go back on because we don't want any of the water treatment stuff to get like too hot. But yeah, that's the back of it. And keeping the sides on is a good thing. I'm excited to keep the sides on because I think that'll help alleviate some of the noise. I think the biggest thing is like we learned by turning it 45 degrees. So the house is like the areas that we're in, the kitchen, the living room, they're over there at a like 45 degree angle like this. So this offset here that this has is optimal. Having your like living area on the sides of where your noise producing hardware is, it just really works out way better for some reason. I don't know what it is. Like if it was facing front to back, the reverberations in here are crazy. If you turn it 45 degrees, the reverberations are much less. I think it's because it's hitting, like the noise is like hitting the walls here. These walls have a, a noise deadening insulation in them. So we blew out the inside, all of the inside walls and redid that entire like area in there. And when we did that, I put in rock wool and it has really good sound deadening. When we did all of these walls here also, even like the header beam up there, like all of that has uh, sound deadening. We didn't use the rock wool because you can't like get it anymore like on demand, you have to order it. But we got um, Owen Cornings and it was actually a little bit cheaper, but it has a really good sound deadening ratio. I looked up some of the stats on it, so that's pretty cool. I got a door that I'll be putting in here and it swings in like this. And that's pretty much it in here. I'll probably have a storage shelf over here and then, you know, the back of the washer and dryer will eventually be coming back this direction. And there's plumbing in the wall right there. So hot water and cold water are right there. So that should be not too bad. Running the wastewater from the uh, washing machine. In Texas, you can have it like go out into your, as long as it's not creating a nuisance, uh, you can have it go out into a specific type of drainage field so you don't have to put it all the way into the septic because like that would be a crazy amount of work. But you can see we've got like no neighbors anywhere so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. And so yeah, let's get back to it here. ASMR vids for how to plot coming. You're gonna see blinking lights like you've never seen before. Digital space point on and neon if you could, that would be hot. I was thinking green and pink, neon would be like pretty cool. But they make LED ones now and I think I'm just gonna get the LED because you can like change the colors and also if it's not like, you know, if it doesn't look good right off the bat, like you can just change it up and you're good to go. Uh, PDU installation looks right, yeah it is. Where does the monitor KVM go? So the KVM, you know, I think I, did I print it out? I didn't print it out and bring it in here, the uh, rack plans. Somewhere in the Discord is a rack layout plan. And like, I've got to pull up Vizio, so I'm gonna go print one here, I guess. It goes somewhere. It's not in this one. This one is all for discs. So that's gonna be all disc array. I think, it's in this one? No, this one. I think it's in this one. I think I'm gonna actually change up some of the actual hardware that's going in here because I don't think for a second that having all of the discs here is a good idea. And also, I mean, I can probably maybe get an R920 like this high, but like getting it like this high is gonna be like a hell of a challenge because that's like 135 pounds. So I don't know about racking the R930s or R920s up this high. I, I mean, honestly, it is like stupid dangerous, and so I probably don't. So I probably need to revisit something that keeps them like chest level or lower, because I don't want to blow out my shoulders for stupid reasons, and I'm getting older and shit, so. Let me get this one tied up, and then we'll do a couple on the back here also.
So they sell an official Bane kit, and it's pretty much this for this rack. Other racks, like the APC net shelters, they've got really, really cool low profile Bane kits that like hide and recess up here. Like they have attachment things that you can get that will like mount rail to rail, and like you can and like tension them, but this this will do the same thing, I think. This is the people that I got these this rack set from. This is how they had it. And that guy definitely knew what he was doing. So thanks for uh, showing up and hanging out with me on this Friday night, everybody. I hope you're having a good Friday night. And I hope you guys have been blocking like crazy here while that space is not not doing too bad i think it was like 21.2 or something like that and i know i was just talking with uh shia links about this the other day well actually no today like the correlation between net space and price and i think you know i've been saying for a, a while on you know the gpu mineables adding hash rate doesn't increase price i mean to a certain extent yeah maybe you'll run into a security aspect if you don't have enough and so there's like is the network secure but i don't think she is in any risk of that like not being secure so i i'm kind of torn like i don't want that space to go boom as a result of the merge and i i honestly don't think that there's going to be tons and tons of gpu miners coming over i just don't think that it's in the cards for Chia to become like the next thing after GPUs. I think we're in for a long, prolonged crypto downturn of at least a like several, several months. I would not think that we're getting out of this anytime closer to like a few months. And like until we get regulations in the US, I don't think we're gonna come out of it. Whenever there's regulatory clarity, I think we might see some, some price rebounding but up until the point where we get that, I don't think it's going to change. What do you guys think? You tell me. I mean, I do these pieces every now and then where I talk about it and I read articles and like, basically I just go off my own historical preface also, which is like a lot of times this seems like it happens. Regulation co comes down the pipeline and it's like, all right, and boom, price for everything kind of craps out. And there's a lot of bad out there in the crypto ecosphere. I mean, proof of stake is had a lot of uh, issues, algorithmic stable coins, they've had a lot of issues. Like rugs have been prevalent more so than in any other crypto cycle. Uh, but this is a different bear that we've got this time because crypto went up and stayed up for a long time. Uh, I'll check the comments here in a few minutes and see what y'all think, but that's kind of my thought on it. I don't think it'll be over in a month or two months. I don't know why the people are hanging on to GPUs still. That's that's kind of another big question. Like there seems to be a lot of people still hanging on to GPUs. And that's it's kind of mysterious a little bit to be honest with you. This is fun because I know like so many of y'all have racks also. And if you're a member in the Discord, I would definitely like to see your racks. Post pictures of your racks in there and I want to take a look. I know that uh, Chia Links has got a hell of a NetApp collection, which that's just a great disc shelf. EPO, I've seen your racks. He's had Rack Insanity in the past. He's had like water-cooled, Time Lord, badasses. Like seriously, the dedication EPO puts in to Chia is 
fucking awesome. And, like, everybody has had some, like, I'm just lucky that people have shared so much, like, of what they're doing and their knowledge with me. Like, I've, I've learned a lot from y'all. You guys might think that you've learned from me, but seriously, I think I've learned way more from y'all than y'all have learned from me. That's the first time that's happened.
everything together, man. We got one left and then, and then we'll move on, start getting gear on. I gotta clean up a little bit of the electrical back here because I'm just OCD about that. Gotta connect up our whips. I hope I didn't snag anything. Uh, snag anything. Yeah, this whole thing's crazy because like the garage door only comes to like right here. So like I got plenty of room still for the garage door to operate. Although I've been thinking about like what I can do to not have a garage door there, because it just kinda I don't think of this as a garage space really anymore. Did I decrease the value of my home dramatically with what I've done? That's a good question. Tell me what you think. Did I just tank the value of the house by getting rid of one garage bay and turning it into a server. <laughs> I lost my mind. You're at 14 Chia Links? Damn. Those DS4246s really are nice. Tell people, do you have them just straight up uh, daisy chained off of one HBA or do you got them daisy chained off two HBAs? That's a question I've been meaning to ask you because I knew you had gotten into the teens. I didn't know you were at 14. Chained hoist from Harbor Freight. I'm just, I just, I'm, I'm wondering why people are hanging on to their GPUs still so much. I, maybe, the, maybe somebody in the audience has a better idea than I do, but it seems like it's a hard prospect to see where it goes from here that is like really wildly profitable. Uh, Running it for a long winter. Yeah, you know, but I think this spring maybe we see some sort of improvements. Uh, I'm hoping. Eastern Digital, I arrived late, tearing it all back apart in startup and for new things in advance. That. Uh, you've crossed the disk number 81 barrier as of uh, yesterday, EPO, congrats on that. You are incremental growing farmer. You are just like adding, 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 adding. And like your rack is pre-built so you can actually hit a really impressive density. And like the daisy chaining off the R720 XDs that we came up with like, I don't know, a year ago, many, many months ago. That, that's some fun stuff. I, I would love to see some pictures and like stuff about that specific, specifically. Adam Hugh, I am late to the party. Did you run 240B circuits? Adam, I ran those 240B circuits a long time ago, friend. And I have 125 amp service. So, da -da -da -da. each one of the whips is powered by here. And I've got a disconnect that's outside. This is my new 20 amps for these wall sockets here. But those whips that you see going up there, one on this side, one on this side, and I left enough room on those whips because I've done this before 
not this exact thing, but I've done a lot of electrical work, that I knew always leave a service loop hanging up there. So I had enough already ran and this super nice conduit, which, ooh, I love this stuff. This stuff is awesome. It's super hard to get wire into it. To be honest with you, it's a total pain in the butt. But like after you get got it there, like this is so bulletproof. I love this stuff. Liquid tight. So yes, I already had those right. Why with 19 watching are there only nine lines? Why are there only 19 people watching? Jesus Christ, I thought there would be way more people watching this insanity. How are there not more people watching? Uh, you know what? That early, like, screw up with the live stream probably messed things up. So, hey, share it on Twitter. Go share it on Reddit. Uh, share it wherever. If you're in the Discord and you're a mod, Chia Links, you're a mod, you could share it there and hit at everyone and, you know, See if we can get more people in here. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Bazinga. Uh, engagement is always key. <clears throat> Chialink says 10 or days chained off one HPA, which that's really cool. I mean, that's really cool. You have 240 discs off of that one HPA. That is, I love HPAs for that reason. And four in the other rack with a remote harvester. Whew. Uh, wait, no, it's split five to five. You got me excited there. I was like, I'm going to have to ask you more. Uh, thank you again for that much info on Daisy Chain 2, by the way, DSP. Much appreciated. Dude, you did all the work. All I did was come up with the ideas. And honestly, I think we had a couple ideas that failed before we figured out how to just low power those back lines. Uh, Eastern Digital, all joking aside, I know how much work it is to build server rooms, bolting racks together. But it sure is nice to stand back and look at what you built. It's a lot of fun. Uh, one month in, like, this is gonna be absolutely bomber dude this is insane like i can't believe that it's here um honestly i'm disappointed in myself i thought this was gonna be like two weeks sheet rocking is just i i don't know what to say like sheet rocking is just not my strength like i really really struggled with getting the sheet rocking done framing was done in like a day electric was done in a day like not even a day but yeah the sheet rock it just was i suck at the sheet rock and you, I just installed a 100 amp sub panel in the garage. You're gonna love it. And if you're into welding, you're gonna love it for that also. So, you know, there's a lot of uses for having a lot of electric in your garage. Gustavo, sorry, I'm like, no worries, man. This is going on for a while, I have a feeling. I haven't even started putting gear on it. All I did was get them leveled, get them bait, and like, that's where we're at right now. So, stick around. More to come. 200 amp service at my place since I have electric heat. You're gonna love the winter rate of 8 cents per kilowatt. 8 cents per kilowatt delivered is a good rate. I like that. I'm at like 9.875 or something like that. They, they, they add all these extra things on and they're actually in Texas adding on or still that winter storm cleanup, they're still adding on extra. So every month I get an extra surcharge to make up for all the damage that happened. And, all right, let's uh, Let's start putting stuff on here. Actually, I need to get these out. These guys are not going to stay in here, so. These are the rails for the MD-1000, which that is not a quiet disc shelf. So, and for 15 bays of disc shelf, don't need the don't need that. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull these on now.
Hmm. I'm torn. I need to run the vacuum, but it's incredibly loud, so I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to do it really quick. Hit mute. Well, I don't know what happened. Looks like it's still going. No, 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 not you. I don't think you can mute it. Other people hit mute. are really good for this kind of stuff.
this times Velcro or where are the giant Velcro straps? Did you say a giant ball of Velcro? It's like tremendously large. That is a lot of bunker straps to lose. That is a freakish amount of bunker straps to lose. It's like a ball this big of it. Huh. Okay. Put it over here. These trays hold 15 discs each, and these are really cool because, like, once you slide the disc in, it's got really good little rubber feet here, so it just like holds it in place really cool. These are very picky though about one thing like, when you're sliding them in, there's a lot of little things that can get caught, and the tray is aluminum, so if you're looking at it, it bends real easy. Like, I would say 25% of them that we got in the hall had been slightly bent. And you would think maybe a slight bend would be okay, but every time that I see that, I have to go back and rebend it to be flat because it'll catch on the other trays when they're sliding in and out. That's no good. A lot of people have asked, what about these? They have expanders under this, and these are 8087 connections here on chain. So chain like slides in and out. There's two expanders on each one of these, and these are uh, SAS 30, 12 gigabit per second. Bucket of blanks, honey. Sorts of problems are already. Wow. Wow, this is gonna be an insanely tight fit. This is not gonna work. Shit. I don't think it's gonna work. So no, this is not gonna work. I don't know if you can you wanna go around to the back side and then shoot the video from there so they can see what's going on? This is a bummer. This is a total bummer. Uh, yeah. Well, I kind of thought that it might be a bit of a stretch to think it was going to just work easily. So. These things are actually really heavy, also. Uh, I was kind of prepared for this a little bit, and I have a couple of alternative ideas that are sketchy. You tell me what you think. So one of the ideas was <clears throat> flip it upside down, but if it's not going to make the clearance on the, you know, for it to set here, then it's not going to make the clearance on the top for the next one. So that doesn't work. I was also thinking about getting one U shelves and then set them on the one U shelf. Uh, once they're in place, I don't think it's actually gonna be too big of a deal, but getting them into place is going to clearly be a, de a deal. Uh, I could try loosening these and see if I can adjust it. I guess I'll give that a shot. Let's we'll see if that'll work. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think they're gonna have that much give. But, 
for the shot. Feels like it almost wants to. No way. Shit, these are really, really long. Oh crap, these are really, really long. That PDU has got to come out of there. It's not going to work. Fuck. Yeah, because check this out. That's not even all the way in. I don't know if I can get it to go the rest of the way. Yeah. is all the way, but we got a problem there. <laughs> like, the problem is, I, you know what? No, let's, let's not call it a problem. Let's call it an opportunity. <laughs> no, that's a problem. <laughs> it was never going to be that easy. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I kind of thought it wouldn't be that easy, but I can confirm now it's not going to be that easy. Um, oh, yeah. Um, so I need to put the remainder of the trays in. Yeah, okay. I need to put the remainder of the trays in. I need to remove this PDU. Uh, is that rack adjustable? The depth on this rack uh, is, yeah, I mean... I'd have to take the UPS out. I don't think it's the rack depth that's the problem. It's when you have it all the way back here, it it's too close to this edge. Like, it's just, there's not enough room. Let me get one of the blower assemblies and show you what I'm talking about.
Ooh. You know what? I think I'm wrong. I think this actually works without me having to adjust anything. Uh, there is one other issue, possibly. Yeah. The cord type on it is not the C13 or C19. I think these are C13s. Uh, it's the funky 20 amp one, which I brought some more PDUs. I didn't bring enough PDUs and I didn't bring the right type of PDUs. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. I'm trying to salvage this. And... Yeah. All right. So this blower actually Dude, that is amazing that that fits. The blower goes like this, and then it locks in. And the actual, I forgot this, the power doesn't plug into the blower. The power plugs into the uh, two uh, power supply units that are here. So they are like in the middle. So that actually could actually work. <sighs> I mean, that's blowing heat directly on these plugs, but these are the wrong plug types at any rate. This whole PDU, no matter what, has to come out because it's like wrong. These. These are what we need. Wait, I'm wrong again. Holy shit, it's gonna work like this. Haha. Ah. Ah. Done. Done. Dun da da da. This is the one that wants this funky blow. Sweet. Dun, da, 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 da. Nice. Ooh. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Oh, okay. I gotta put the rest of the trays in before I put those in. Because I have to put the uh, I have to put the uh, slidey McBob things on here, these chains. are a real like finger cutting hazard. If you ever get one of these, you're gonna cut yourself like a lot of times. Alright. Do yes. Yes. Side or the front side you put them in first. Mm. Forget. I'm gonna find out. So this is on that side, and this is also on that side. So I need one, two, three, four on that side. This one goes on this side. Okay, I... 
I need to get a second box. So that I can put the right ones on the right side and the left ones on the left side. So it looks like you have to kind of pre-coil it like a snake. Stick the camera in there and take him on like a journey of Yeah, I think I got it. Okay, so actually, you can just put in the back ones and then put the tray in and attach it, I think. So I'm going to try that in a second. That was kind of fun.
what is this thing you're working on called? This is a DE6600. Um, the chassis is actually, NetApp made most of the chassis for like other stuff that Dell did also. So like the chassis is also the chassis for a MD3060E. The primary difference is the badging for that 3060E is Dell badging versus the e, DE6600 is a NetApp product uh, originally from the Santricity lineup and it's InfiniBand and Fiber Channel and of course the Dell one is SAS. Um, so one of the big differences between them is how you access or can access your storage. So block storage, if you are using a DE6600, these trays are filthy actually. I've got to vacuum out these trays. Like this is, this is totally filthy. Uh, so that is one thing to think about is uh, block storage is like iSCSI shares and you will be using something like either Open Media Vault, Open Filer, TrueNAS I am going to try out first. I hope TrueNAS works. Um, but then this would be presented as an iSCSI block device to like Proxmox. So you would be able to access a block level. One of the cool things about block level devices is the utilization of space on it can be very, very good. If you think of it in certain terms, it's kind of akin to like what you might run into like with LBM and how you can have a very full uh, growing uh, mount point and partition. Um, especially looking at something called BG FS. Uh, that's kind of one of the things that I think is promising. It's a little bit more geared towards high performance compute, but a lot of people have talked to me about it and it seems like one of the best file system types out there for this particular type of hardware. So I'm gonna try that out also at the same time and see what works, what doesn't work. There's like no information available and I got like 12 of these bastards. So like I'm gonna try to do as much testing as I can if I wanted to, or if I run into a situation where these uh, controllers, see here, this is the controller unit. So it's got fiber channel here. It's got 40 gigabit InfiniBand dual channel. This is what I'm gonna utilize is the 40 gigabit InfiniBand. And then it has a SAS external expander that you can daisy chain off of. Um, but I, I already tried the fiber channel. I couldn't get that to work. Uh, the InfiniBand actually like pulled up a device and InfiniBand is just weird, so like I'm probably gonna put together a video on InfiniBand storage units, which there's not a ton of videos out there on that. Like some super fringe content, which is exactly what people are hoping for. Possibly, possibly not. Okay, so that one's in place. These are actually really cool. These are all the little LED tray lights on them right here. And they've got like little LED lights here. So you get blinking lights on a per tray basis on this also. So don't think you're not gonna get blinking lights out of this. I was very concerned when I first saw them that there wasn't gonna be blinking lights. I mean, it definitely is not happy with being compressed, but uh, is this one bent? It doesn't look like it is. This hardware probably is just so freaking old. Like it probably sat for so long that it doesn't even Okay, so that's the problem right there. I'm not in the track on this side. Oh, that's great. How do you disconnect with this? I forget. How do you disconnect with this? Slide it backwards a little bit. I miss the I miss the rail. These have like little telescopic microscopic rail units in them. And they're very hard to align and hit. Honestly, I can see why the like government got rid of these. I can I, I think like 
if you were a system administrator and you had to f with this thing very often, you might be like, I'm sick and tired of getting cut. Okay. So I got that one undone. What I mean for home lab, for all sorts of other uses, like 60, 60 disks is a shit. So there's a lot of power in the disks. And there's these little slide retainers here. That's right. See, I got excited and then I screwed up this side. one time before with this where I got this misaligned and it was a major pain in the butt then to expect this to be the same. Yeah, this side over here isn't clocked. Okay, maybe that's it. There we go. Alright, this time I'm going to be very careful to try to align it. Things all the way to the back. <laughs> totally an administration kind of hardware nightmare could be happening, that's for sure. Like, I hope I'm out. I'm down for that. <laughs> I might be. I'll let you know. You know, my super micros don't have this problem. I will tell you what, super micro makes a sexy piece of hardware. I no doubt think that super micro has got some amazing, amazing gear. It's not gonna do it, it's not gonna do it at all. Uh, I'm not sure if maybe I'm bowing the chassis, but it's like out of the actual groove on the side. And that doesn't make sense. It's like it's bowed outward. Um, so I am going to have to do something. I don't know what to get this tray fixed, but I've got a lot of other trays, so we'll just try a different tray.
people have been asking a lot of questions about these JBODs. Can I sum it up with one word? PETA. Total PETA. <sighs> So let's see if it's a problem with the tray or if it's a problem with this tray. I mean, the tray looks true and straight. I don't know if you can see that. Right I don't see any defect in that little rail set there. So I think it's actually the J-Pod, which is not, not good. Uh, we'll find out. I'm going to check some comments, grab a drink. Hmm. Holy cow, there's a lot of comments. It's a very risky place. Left-handed SAS cables. No, seriously, it's like these things have got so many weird little like gotchas. It's it's kind of crazy to be honest with you. Hey, you know what? I'm glad everybody's having a great conversation with each other in there. Uh, Zinga in auto cop it auto moderated you either that or my wife moderated. I can't tell you which one, but you've been moderated on that thing you said there, so for I'm not gonna hit it. If I hit it, I'll just break it. That'll be the end of it for sure. How annoying are the J Pods? Uh, so this uh, I can't get it in the hole. Uh, but the J Pods are actually fairly noisy if you don't have all the trays in. And I haven't had a chance to get all the trays in one of them yet. Uh, in testing, I just filled up one tray, put in 15 discs. It's a 15 disc minimum JBOT. That threw a warning light and it was actually screaming loud. It did calm down uh, after a little bit, but I think it still was giving me uh, issues with the, hey, what the hell is going on? Because it was going through a power cycle of the lights, expecting there to be some sort of, you know, additional trays because I just had the bottom tray filled up with discs that did allow me to do what I wanted to do which was test the ability of InfiniBand to access it but I didn't actually fill up the rest of the trays and I think we're kind of seeing why uh, total pain in the butt Let's see if we can get this one in there and looking at this one it might actually be slightly warped so could be Yeah, actually, it's that tray. This tray's going in with that, with that same issue. I think that's good news. I think that's good news.
can't be. That cannot be that. rail this time like it's actually caught it's just I don't want to put oil on it but maybe I should put oil on it Your wife moderated me for that comment. I don't actually think she did. She's shaking her head that she didn't. YouTube moderated you for that comment, I think. Although, I, w I hope my wife does moderate you for comments like that. Uh, what is going on here? This fucking thing, man. All right, I'm uh, beginning to transition to the hate phase of my relationship with these J-Pods. I, I don't know what to say. I'm not digging this. Can I see that real quick? Let me see if I can shake the light on. Did that work? Can I turn the light on? It will not let me turn the light on. Uh, damn it. Let me see if I can get the flashlight in there. Yeah, so it's totally in the in the groove and I don't know what the hell's going on like it seems like it's caught on something but there's nothing for it to be caught on uh, hmm well let me keep keep trying to push it in, see if we can make that happen. I don't know. It's like so close. I think this is a side effect of me squeezing this son of a bitch in here. All crazy. I bet you anything it is, because I bet you anything the middle of this is like pushed in or something. It all seemed so good when it was just a GovDeals picture. And yeah, that's changed. This is not good. Yeah. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to close these up a little bit. And regroup. <laughs> for sort of rack. It's not the rack. Racks are standard width, so it's not that. Um, it's that the rails that I did manage to get it jammed in there could be put causing pressure. And if you, let me see this real quick. If you see this, like the APC rails are clearly uh, like bowed out, but it is actually holding it in place. So I'm torn because I got a ton of these. I got enough of these to make this whole rack happen. Like, 
So I want this to work. Uh, I think 50 Minutes actually has one of these. You have one of these, right? 50 Minutes? Five stages of grief. Uh, I am in bargaining currently, so let's stay there and see if I can make something happen. Uh, do you have one of these? Somebody in the Discord, was it you or I quit, has one of these. Wait, no, 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 you're new to the Discord. You don't have one of these that you posted. Uh, I quit, I think it's one of them. I bet this would be easier if the room was cold, hot things, expand and all. Actually, the AC's running back there. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it is definitely running. Is it the handles on the equipment? Uh, there are no handles on these. They don't have side handles like you get on your um, NetApps and other various equipment that is large j -bods. These guys are just like bulk. Uh, they don't have handles on the side, so not sure. Oh, you know, EPO, you might be right. Like, what if they're specific to a specific unit? Let's hope that's not the case, because if you look behind you right there, that is a bunch of separated trays, and that's not good. Like, if these trays individually go to something, that's going to that's gonna be a problem. They look like they've got little codes on them. Oh, no. These codes are different. This is a serial number, and that's different than this serial number. Oh, shh. Are you right here? Oh, no, 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 no. I hope not. I hope you are very wrong. <laughs> oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. These cannot be unique to a specific JBOD. That is going to be a huge bummer if that's true. I have caused all sorts of headache to myself if that's true. Um, so what I was going to say is let's leave that because I don't know what's going on there. And uh, I'm just going to move on to putting some other stuff on the rack because... Uh, yeah, I'm in denial still. I'm gonna stay in denial for a while. So let's put some stuff on the rack over here. I'm gonna go get the plan really quick. I believe it was 930s and then 920s, but that doesn't even make sense because the 930s weigh less than the 920s, so they should be on the top. No way am I gonna take this all the way up there. Uh, I'm actually fairly exhausted a little bit at this point, uh, so definitely not gonna take it all the way up there. Hmm. I'm gonna go print off the plan. I will be right back. Walk around and show them hardware and stuff. Be right back. You want a drink?
plan. As you can see, I've already messed up because that was supposed to be in the middle. Yeah. Why didn't I print this off when I brought this back here? Oh my god. Okay, so I've already messed up. That UPS is supposed to be over there. I don't know if that's functionally, if there's a reason for that, or if I just kind of did that. Uh, yeah. So, R920s, R930s do not run all the time, but do when they're requiring, like, you know, all running at the same time producing plots. They do eat up pretty much one whole uh, PDU, which is about, you know, 8 to 10 kilowatts. So, I mean, that is probably why I had them all here, since I have a single... PDU whip up there at the time. I've got a bunch of space here in the middle that is like, I've got the networking gear also wrong. Like the networking gear does not need to be in the middle. The networking gear needs to be over here on this side. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that might be eight. No, that's the R9 or R210. Uh, so I'm going to take eight U's down off of this and it, you know, the R9, the R930s, and then maybe one of the R920s, maybe two of the R920s. I'm definitely not going to go above my head here. And in the middle here, I think I'll put the remainder of the R920s. And I was hoping to have all the discs over here um, on one dedicated unit, but that's clearly going to take more work. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. The little half rack's running away uh, in the uh, guest bedroom, having fun. So yeah, uh, I think I am just gonna focus on doing this. If I can get, what is this, a 920 or a 930? This is a 920, so I'll get this 920 off here. These are not going anywhere. These are, you know, crappy j -bods. Uh These are just gonna go somewhere, give them away. Uh, and then this guy down here is gonna be the bottom unit here so I need to think about what I put underneath this I can actually put this a little bit further down I think without any issue and squeeze a couple more because this is eight U's this tape library and that's 260 some terabytes of LTO5 so I, it doesn't run very often but I like to keep backups on it because I can rotate the tapes out and I got it for like a crazy good deal so I'll probably do that yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this, and that way I can get all this out of the way, and that will be that'll be nice. So let's start there. And let's see. So R920. I should leave at the bottom of this middle rack. Let me just ask the community here. Like, I'm going to take your input very, very seriously. How many U's do you think I should leave empty at the bottom of this rack? Uh, I'm thinking that I leave four. Seems like a decent number. Almost all PDU UPS or, or UPSs come in like threes, though. I have not seen a four U UPS. So if for some reason I was going to get a couple more battery packs, and that's possible to do. Uh, I could put two here, and that would be six. So it's either four or six that I leave. Maybe I should leave six. I think I'm going to leave six. What do you guys think? Six? Let's see what saying. If anybody's even listening to me. Plots on tape. I bet that would be fun to watch. The plots don't go on tape. That's for sure. The plots would take forever to go on tape. Uh, go for six? I'm going for six. We'll do that. So let's see. Um, six. We're going to have eight above that. So. So I'm going to start at 15 with the R920s. Grab one of the rail sets that I just got. And cable management arms.
help packages rails like this. God, eBay people, man. These B9 rails are super duper heavy duty, but look, look how fucked up that is. I think I can fix it. Still, that's really fucked up. Dumbasses. Look at that. This one will be harder to fix. Someone who's about to get some seriously, seriously brutal feedback. Oh, that son of a bitch. These are like, these are heavy duty rails. This is so Can you all tell that there is zero rehearsal that went on before this? You're literally just hanging out with me. Experience. Son of a. Man, I am such a good shipper compared to other people. Oh my god. I package things so well. I think I said 15 there. This is still better than the other rails by a long shot. Those other rails are really not doing good. All ready rails are amazing though. Absolutely love them. Sorry.
Nice. heaviest piece of equipment by the way <laughs> without even anything remotely close to the heaviest piece of equipment. And I'm a dumbass, I put that on first. Clearly I am a dumbass because oh that's not gonna be easy. God. Okay. Might be getting exhausted a little bit. This thing is like, oh, like that heavy. Maybe I can wheel it over and kind of like get it in there. We'll find out. You know what? I thank you, Gustavo. I care about packages. I treat people like I would want to be treated. So, like y'all are crazy. Also, the people that are channel members, I didn't even post it anywhere else or mention it in a video, and you bought everything like immediately. Uh, but all of it got shipped out today. All of it's really well packaged. All the hard drives are like foam box insulated, like tight foam. Yeah. So. Oh, you got the SAS drives? Yeah. The SAS drives? I mean, I like SAS drives. <laughs> I said in private chat to buy another day. I, you're a channel member. You, like, channel members get, like, the first, uh, the first take. I can't stop grunting. I'm hurt. I am an old person also. You guys don't realize how old I am. Actually, fairly old. But I'm young at heart. one I gotta get the nuts for. <laughs> I don't know if people are talking about dating me or not, but I'm taking. <laughs> oh, oh, okay.
consider this is not a V2. you are, but you're not a BC. Right side, B2, right. I probably am just going to leave the KBM right here in the middle where it's already like kind of situated. Seems like it height for me. It was good there when I had it there last time, so. KVM up here and then plug additional. No, 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 actually. Yeah. And literally all of this stuff that like the ladder, all those racks, I just got free because I asked. Like literally I went out there to buy the eaten UPSs and I said, do you have other stuff you want to throw in? They threw in all the PDUs, they threw in all the ladder, they threw in all the nuts, all the bolts, all the like lagging, all of these blanks, they just threw it all in. And I was glad that I asked, but if you're ever going out, and I've had a bunch of people recently ask me about what they think of, what I think about certain racks and I'm like, Ask them for everything that you can get for free. Because, like, people that have racks have a bunch of extra gear, and if they're done with the rack and they've moved to the cloud or something, ain't nothing to them. Like, you're probably helping them out, get rid of e waste, and they're mine.
520. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do networking tonight. That's a whole that's a whole another day. Plus my brain's got to be working really good for networking. giving it a little bit of up and down motion there to make sure that that rail isn't kinked. R520XZ isn't actually bad if you get the 2670 V2s. I mean, I was 
getting pretty decent a lot of times on Mad Max. There's no way that you can get it to blade bit, but. And so if you're racking yourself, which I'm sure most of you guys end up racking by yourself sometimes. Starting on one side with a lighter server, you can get it to just kind of situate in there really easy after that. So start on one side, hold it up, move over to the other. Uh, should I put the tape library even lower? I think I should put the tape library like all the way low. That way I have like room to get in there. And it doesn't turn on very often, so whatever. I think I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah. I hope y'all are having fun. If you got any questions, shoot them my way. I'm gonna take a water break here in a few minutes and catch up.
I bet you got bins just like this. I bet you got a lot of bins just like this. A lot of APC rails. And so I use the tape library as a beam backup target. And I would love to use uh, a Kosh or something for S3 offload. I don't know if anybody's used them for S3 offload, but that'd be a cool like way to get my other tier not like on tapes having to be moved manually, which I mean, that, that kind of stinks. And plus if you're doing something like everything goes down. Like I haven't had a backup in two or three weeks. No, probably actually two months. Yeah, closer to two months at this point. I don't think I've done anything that important in the past two months. To be honest. Still, backups are the only real safety you have if something goes wrong. This one is like not loving me.
would not get these dull older style ra uh, racks if you can avoid it. Like these were free, so I guess they were worth it for the price of free, but they've just got old school amenities on them and that kind of is a, a bummer when it comes to the depth. When it comes to having zero UPDUs, which I mean you really do need those. stuff on the bottom. That is as heavy as it gets. So this unit is a pretty generic unit. These are all made by, I think it's called BDM. HP buys them from them, a bunch of other people buy them from them. And they all are pretty much the same. This is like, the generic name is an MSL 8096. It has 96 tape capacity. Okay. Over there, all the way. This one just has some retaining up front. Screws. Like literally all of this stuff I just got for free because I remembered to ask. So if you are going to buy a rack, ask. Never know what they'll give you. I need a really little like, fat head on it. 
bigger than that. I don't think that's big enough either. So tighten it up and see, but it doesn't look like it is. Now it's just shy. Hmm. Or a washer. I don't think I've got a bunch of washers just laying around that I can find. I'm sure I've got a bunch. Maybe in here. That is not going anywhere. Cool. Alright. I feel like progress is definitely being made here. Uh, I'm going to start putting the 940s on. 940s? No. I wish I had 940s. I do not have any 940s. That is so much fun. 930s?
this stuff is what you actually use to mount the ladder. Some people are calling it racetrack ladder. It's probably a racetrack and not ladder. But this is like perfectly grooved to sit on top of it. And then you bolt this to the top of the server through the mesh holes. And it just creates a channel along the back for you to run up and out the back for all of the network cable you need to put in there. plastic up there like that but I took it off the other day because there was stuff I was trying to get underneath it and there must have just still been stuff in the air
this person packaged their rails. Good. Look, they even put like end foam down there. So I'm gonna get all that and crinkled up. Good on them. Bummer. Super bummer. But that is a lot of power. Oh my god. Each one of these has 88, 90 V4s, 196 total threads. Fucking monsters. Uh, how much battery is left on that? I'm like super tired. I think 
This is not a bad spot for me. Let's call it for the night. Uh, yeah, I've got to clean so much stuff. And I don't think that's very fun. So I don't think anybody really wants to hang around while I clean this. Because this is just going to... Actually, I'm probably going to take it inside and clean it. Uh, and hopefully I can get tomorrow another like live stream or video or something of these actually working. So I've got 60 discs. We'll load 60 discs into it. See what we can make happen. Um, if I can get one of them to power on. That way we can see what kind of noise profile they have when they're fully loaded, when the trays are fully populated, and everything's, you know, green and looking good, and it's not angry and blinking warning lights. So I'll wrap up here by going through some of the comments here, see if there was anything else. I've also got to do that Weekend Chia video tomorrow. I feel like at the moment, not a lot happened this Weekend Chia, but I also feel like I am exhausted, so I might just be like forgetting stuff. Uh, are you going to be running an air purifier in the server room? So I have an air purifier that I could run in here. I'm not sure if that's going to actually do too much. I don't know where you would need to place it is kind of the thing. Like there's a lot of square. I think you can start to see like there will be a lot of square footage between where the racks are. Oh my God. That looks so good. Holy shit. Oh my God. All right, now I'm excited. Holy shit, I didn't actually step back here and look. Check, check this out. Ooh. Ooh. That is sweet. I think that is going to be one hell of a sexy setup. I am really looking forward to this. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I guess I, I don't know where to put an air purifier for it to work the best. I've still got things that I've got to do in here that will probably, you know, make... A mess this is already painted somebody mentioned the wall color all the walls over there and the pegboard are getting painted like the pegboard is like a dark charcoal -y color color and then that's like a white white up there and I still have to like figure out what to do about the ceiling like old old garage ceilings are always kind of like that but I got to do something about that so it doesn't look like total shit but yeah this color here that's on it really nice i like am super digging the color that's on it i got it oh my god i didn't actually stop and like look at it while i was doing all this but yeah yeah i like it i like it a lot and like even from over here like that's just it's just awesome oh that is so cool this is going to be a really cool setup. And with the like 43 inch TV here, I'm going to either put the 55 or another 43 inch TV there. I don't know. One of those two. Uh, that'll be like used for Grafana monitoring and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be really cool. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Like I'm also exhausted, but I am excited at the same time. And yeah. Uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in. And uh, let's see if there's other questions here. Um, Revenge is an option. Oh my God, what is going on? Uh, alpha goose thing, yeah, alpha goose thing, I hope is uh, happening soon. I want a free alpha goose. Can I get a free alpha goose? I feel like I should get a free alpha goose. Uh, can you give me a free alpha goose? Um, thinking about setting up a grow room and running my hack wrap in there for the next uh, year, summertime. You know, if you're gonna like set up a grow room and run a half rack, like what could you do with that heat during the winter time? I don't know where you live. Maybe you live in a like really hot spot. Like if you do, then maybe that's not something that would work out. Ooh, foods has got a good point there. Humidity probably isn't something you want. Like you don't want zero humidity in a server room, but you don't want like high humidity. Dun, 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 dun. People talking about growing weed. Um, do you have to replot these drives or are they pre-plotted already? No. Uh, so it'll be like a copy process to move it from traditional storage to block storage so like most people are familiar with like network storage or something like that as far as a concept traditional file systems and your actual device is the block device this will be like an array of devices are the block device so i will copy 
like I, I have drive set aside. I have 300 terabytes set aside, and that's roughly each one of the uh, DS4243s. So I'll just copy a DS4243 at a time over, and then take those drives, format them, and then do the next batch. So it should just be like that. And that way I can just uh, not have to replot. I mean, I it's cheap to plot for me, but it's not like it, it's time and stuff. And like, other, I, I actually have to plot for some other people whenever I get this finished. So like, I don't know. Uh, Gustavo, I will send you the color palette that my very thoughtful and amazing camera woman wife picked out for me. I have no idea. I just, I do the work. I don't, I, don't, I have no zero, I have zero style, style skills. Do not use an airless sprayer. I have, I can't use an airless sprayer. I've tried, but just, it doesn't work, man. Not for me. Uh, I am a let's roll it and let's paintbrush it kind of person. That's about it. How much electricity are you consuming? <laughs> Our pit. A shocking amount of electricity. Uh, at the most, these guys have consumed about a quarter megawatt a day. Uh, so that's a lot of fucking electric, dude. I don't know. That's a lot of electric. I had, so like before all this, like this garage when we first moved in here in 2018, it was GPU mining. And like I had three 30 amp circuits and just some like, actually they were those. Uh, and I just had, you know, cards hanging from them and a PDU strapped to them. And I was running cards off of that. And that was 90 amps. Uh, so I'm actually under 90 amps. Uh, I, I guess I could like theoretically push these over 90 amps, but even with the quad socket servers, even with eight quad socket servers, I'm a very far way away from being able to actually push them over it. So I don't think I'll hit the 11, well, I guess they're 10 kilowatt. They're 11 kilowatt, but really 10 kilowatts of like actual uh, double online conversion capacity for the Eaton 9PX11s. And there's two of those. So I've got 22 kilowatts of battery backup here. And the batteries, I mean, geez, I got so lucky. Like the batteries that came with them were actually decent. Like one of them as, is at like 87%, but the other one's at like 98. So they had replaced the batteries in one of the units. They had not replaced the batteries in the other unit. So I totally lucked out. And I paid, I think it was $1,000 for both of those, all the racks, all the PDUs, just a ton of stuff. And it was just literally because I asked them for a bunch of stuff and they were like, sure. Um, your wife is patient and supportive person holding the camera for that long. My wife is dynamite. I love my wife very much. And I am actually 15% uh, battery here, so I'm probably going to be losing the battery before too much longer. Everybody have a great rest of your night. I'm going to leave you with a parting shot of what you will be seeing more of this amazing data center this is going to be like the perfect backdrop this is going to be total nerd fodder i am excited gonna have a giant table like right in here and be able to just plop stuff onto it do reviews and have a couple of monitors behind me over there also and maybe a workstation or two but this is going to be a cool environment for us i'm going to set a big curtain rod up over there so that you don't see the like it'll be like a black curtain so you won't see that there's a garage door there and stuff like that Maybe cut down on noise also. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. This is actually like shit. Shit. All right. Ladies, y'all.